Look Bring it right up here. Good. Welcome back to another video, you guys. Today, what we are going to do is we are going out with Eastman's Fishing Fleet out of Seabrook, New Hampshire. They have approximately uh, seven boats that go out every single day, weather permitting in the spring, summer, and fall for the ground fish such as haddock, pollock, redfish, cusk, all those kinds of fish. And uh, today what the goal is, is to catch a limit of haddock, hopefully. That's 12 fish, minimum 17 inches. If all goes well, we'll come home with some good fish for the freezer, hopefully be able to give a little bit of weight of some family and friends. With that said, guys, let's get to it. This is the boat that we're going out on today, guys. This is the Lady Courtney Alexa. It's a 60 foot long passenger vessel that holds up to 30 people for an all day fishing trip. On the deck we have Alex and Pat. Uh, these are the guys that help with all the tangles throughout the day, set and pull the anchor, cut the fish, cut the bait, serve the snacks and uh, beverages and everything. Pretty much without these guys, these trips don't happen. And this is Captain Patrick. Uh, he's been in Eastman's now for about 15 years. He actually taught me how to work these boats and how to cut fish and everything back in the summers of 2013 to 2014. So uh, needless to say, he knows his stuff. We have about a two hour steam out there. It's uh, approximately 20 nautical miles off the east coast. And uh, as you can tell, it's a beautiful day. Nice calm seas. Pretty much can't ask for a better day than that. Here's Captain Pat up in the wheelhouse, uh, keeping an eye on things, making sure that we make it out there nice and safe. Once we get over some fish in about 200 feet of water, Pat will give Alex a signal to start dropping the anchor. And Alex will let that anchor out until it hits the bottom, and then Pat will back down on it to uh, get us over those fish that he saw. And if all goes right, we'll end up right over the top of that pile of fish. Once we get over the top of the fish, Pat will give Alex a signal again to tie off the anchor, and then Pat will make an announcement over the intercom to let us know to drop down and uh, how deep it is. I think Pat said it's about 180 feet of water here, uh, so it does take a little bit of time to drop down to the bottom, and even a lot longer to reel it up, obviously. We're just using a uh, simple bait rig here, two uh, dropper loops with hooks on them, to a 16 ounce lead weight. We're gonna let that line out until we touch the bottom, and then we're just gonna stay nice and tight to the bottom. And uh, as long as you do that, you should have a pretty good chance of catching a fish. As you can see, that didn't take too long. Uh, with these fish, they aren't like a game fish. You're pretty much just setting the hook once, and they do fight a little bit, but not very much. Your goal is just to keep a nice steady tension on them and uh, bring them up through that water column. Here we go. Oh, that's a Oh, you got him lassoed, that's why. Ready? <laughs> that's a big one, though, huh? That's a nice one. Oh, I got the weight. What the hell you got there? Ow! This one turned out to be a pretty nice haddock. Not a bad way to start the day. And now all we're going to do is just rebate and uh, restart the process. Get back down there to hopefully get about 11 more of them. Ooh, it's letting go. Got to be 17 to make the grade. She does. Where are you going? Right, right below me. You don't have to go anywhere. This next fish is a cod. Uh, we're not allowed to keep these, though they do taste very good. Uh, they are currently protected. Nice. The haddock and the cod dress. Lamprey, see how I'm eating them? I thought it was tech. Wow! Look at that. Bring it right up here. Good? Holy! Scoop. Sucking the life right out. That was a lamprey eel, guys. Those things are like the leeches of the ocean. Swing them in! Oh. Jeez, I'm crow. Swing them! Wow! Whoa! That's a big boy. He's pouring Bud Light on his bait. <laughs> Damn right! Did he hit that on the way down? No. There you go. Alrighty. Nice Orange one. Orange bucket. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Whoa, look at that make one. it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I do need a hand. Make no mistake. <laughs> You know why he's got to be such a prick all the while. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, 
Another one. As you can see, most everybody was getting into the haddock pretty good. Uh, as long as you were down on the bottom, you were definitely going to get into some nice haddock. Most everybody was extremely happy. There was probably three tangles on the whole boat throughout the day, which anybody who's ever been party boat fishing before knows that that's, uh, that's a rarity. But uh, plenty of space for everybody, a lot of smiles, a lot of laughs, and a lot of fish for the freezer. I'm going to let this play out for a few minutes, guys, so you can see how the day went, and then we'll get on our way home. Need a hand? In short. In short. I'm there at nine in the morning. Yeah, Alex, I got a job for you. You're the best. Ooh, look at that one. Uh, one slash on the head in there, please. Uh, yes, sir. Whoops. Get the time on you by chance. There it is. <laughs> that should make it no problem. <sighs> Any chance on that making it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Think that'll keep? Guarantee it. I get the weight. Thank you. There you go. Might make it. It's got to be like eight or nine by now. Make a film. You gotta say, you know, we limited with Courtney Alexa and yours truly because I mean, Patrick, it's it's already done. In this year will be the last fish of the day, guys. Uh, I managed to get a limit. The group of people next to me got a limit. Patrick got his limit. Uh, if you were down there fishing, you were catching fish. Now it's time for Alex to pull that hook so we can start headed west. We got about a two hour steam home to the dock. Here's some of the fish from the uh, port side of the boat. Uh, a couple of people had some coolers and stuff with them as well, but this was what was inside of the totes. Good day. Yeah, it was a good day. And the day doesn't end for Alex and Pat, guys. These guys are going to be filleting fish the whole steam in home, and they're also going to be getting the boat ready and cleaning it up long after the customers are gone for the day uh, to get ready to go again tomorrow. After about two hours, guys, we arrive at the Hampton Bridge. Uh, we don't require a lift today because it's such a low tide. And as you can see, we're going to be doing some zigzagging on the way in here. Uh, that's not because Patrick likes to do that. That's because it seems as though there's more sand than water in the harbor right now. And uh, they're in dire need of a dredge in that river. Even though we arrived back at the dock, guys, the day does not end for Pat and Alex. Uh, as you can see, all the customers are long gone. But uh, they still have to clean up all those bait buckets, fish totes, uh, the deck and everything and get it ready for either the night trip or the, uh, the next all day trip. So remember to take care of your deck hands, guys. If you take care of them, they'll take care of you. They do work extremely hard for you. So uh, don't forget about them, please. Now we're back at the house breaking out the food saver. Uh, as you can see, I got a little bit extra from Pat. He didn't want to keep his whole limit, so he gave me some extras and... Uh, 
I'm very thankful for that because I'll be able to give some away to friends and family. Here are the fillets, guys. As you can see, they look beautiful. Uh, all that I'm going to do is just skin them up and make sure that there's no bones in them for the packaging. And these fillets are absolutely beautiful, guys. Much better than store-bought and also much fresher. Here's what I ended up with, all skinned and cleaned up, and now I'm just going to throw them into the freezer seal bags. I just estimate maybe like a pound or so per bag, and uh, whatever I think I can make a meal out of. And then into the vacuum sealer they go. There's all the fish for the day guys, all packaged up and everything. Now they just need a quick autograph from me and into the freezer they go. If you'd like to book a trip with Eastman's Fishing Fleet, I'll leave a link down in the description below. The, uh, the guys and girls down there, they really do a phenomenal job of making some great memories for you and they do everything they can to get you on top of the fish. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos from me in the future. As always guys, I appreciate you watching and until the next one, remember, live free, fish more.